What's up everybody, this is Jay, and this video is about who is most likely gonna die in episode 3 of Game of Thrones. First off, Sejora Mormont. Now, we know that Jorah received the Valerian Steel Sword Hearts Bane from Samwell Tarly in the last episode. And, uh, you know, why he got that sword is because Samwell felt that he owed it to him because his father was the leader of the Night's Watch and he taught him how to be a man. And it's going to probably mean that Jorah's going to be going up against some White Walkers real soon. And what the quote that he probably gave himself away with his death is he said to Sam, I'll see you when it's through. And then we also know that Jorah has been through a long road on the show. Um, before the series started, he sold poachers to slavers and then had to leave Westeros to avoid being beheaded by Ned Stark for it. Then he used to spy for Varys. Uh, on Daenerys Targaryen and her brother when he was discovered he was banished by Daenerys while he was gone he ended up with grayscale he ended up finding a treatment through Sam and then he finally made his way back with Daenerys after having to locate her with the Dothrakis and uh, you know he was in her inner circle but he was pretty much in the friend zone even though he really was in love with her and then uh, he gave her some last pieces of advice before he was gone about Tyrion and the sword of his family's honor he lost and that's what Jon Snow carries and so now he's receiving Sam's family's sword of honor and so it seems like his story is about over with. Next is Beric Dondarrion and uh, he used to be a major character for a while in one season when he was the leader of the Brotherhood Without Banners um, and he was with Thoros Amir but Thoros is dead he was cut in half by the Hound and brought back to life now that Thoros is gone I doubt he's coming back anytime after this and uh, one of the things that he said that shows that his time may be up is he said that the Lord of Light brought us together all the same and that this is his moment and it looks like this moment is about to be up he's been known and legendary for having that flaming sword and it looked like his light may finally be extinguished pretty soon um, he was once on Arya's list for selling away her boyfriend wannabe Gendry to Melisandre but it seemed like she thought that he was killed him but now that she know that he didn't die they been okay and now it seems that uh, after being revived six different times, this may be the last time that he's going to live. And uh, once he falls on this battlefield, that's going to be all she wrote for him. And uh, it looks like this is why the Lord of Light had kept him alive all this time. Next is Sir Brienne of Tarth. Brienne has waited all her life to feel respected and seen by others and uh, now that she's been knighted by Jamie, although it's come to the end of her, you know, time, um, she's finally honored and respected by all. Um, she helped teach Podrick how to fight, even though uh, she was reluctant to even have him help her. They became uh, good friends and she became a great teacher to Podrick. And uh, one of the things that probably sealed the deal for her is her being knighted and everybody being so happy. You know, Game of Thrones never ends with happy moments and saying, Arise, Brianna Tarth, a knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Nobody else is going to probably know this even happened because she was going to die just a few hours later. And, uh, and Brianna is one of the only characters to never be anything but loyal. First, she was loyal to Renly until he died, then Catelyn Stark, and now Sansa. And so uh, we'll see how this all plays out. But uh, we'll, we'll see if she maybe makes it through. But she was going to be on the left flank when she talked with Jamie, And that means she's going to be in the front. And so with her being on the front lines and even in the last scene they said uh you know she was telling everybody to stand their ground she's probably going to try to prove the courage to the men by showing that this woman is holding her ground and she's going to be brave and like jamie said in the name of the warrior i charge you to be brave and 
she's going to be holding her ground to prove a point and probably die. I just hope that she doesn't come back as a White Walker to, uh, you know, Westeros attacking people. That would really be sad. Next up is Ed, a.k.a. Edison to Toilet. And uh, he was also known as John's best friend. He's been with John other than Sam the longest throughout the show. Um, they've been through a lot together beyond the wall. Uh, he became leader of the Night's Watch once John gave up the mantle after being killed by his other brothers. And uh, he uh, is John's oldest and closest friend. And one of the things that he said that may have gave it up for him that he's not going to make it is he said Samuel Tarly lover of ladies slayer of white walkers it really is the end of the world whoever's the last man standing make sure you burn the bodies I mean uh, that right there doesn't sound too good for him because we know that John will be there and we know that Sam may be there so with that being said, old Ed may be dead. Next up is Gendry. First off, he just got some of that sweet, sweet loving from Arya. And uh, we know, like I said, Game of Thrones doesn't end with happy endings, although he just had a happy ending. And so that right there means that his chances of surviving is probably slim to none. Now, he's going to probably fight. He does have the Robert Baratheon blood in him. He's one of his bastards. He was pretty handy with the hammer, which is what Robert used to fight with. And so, uh, you know, he had that early leech therapy with Melisandre for the king's blood. And they said that he had, a, you know, power in his blood. So it may be a chance that he does survive only to die later in King's Landing, maybe. But we'll see. Devil saved his life once before. Um, he's lived for a reason. He was the one that was able to get the word back to Daenerys that they needed help once they was uh, caught beyond the wall by the White Walkers and she came with the dragons to come and save Jon. And so now he's been making all the weapons and everything. But to be honest with you, even Arya said we're probably going to die soon, which is why she gave him some of that sweet, sweet loving. And the chances of him making it is probably slim to none. Um, although he is the blacksmith, so he wouldn't probably be on the front lines. And Arya, she'll probably try to help him. So he does have an 8 out of a 10 chance of dying. Next up is Grey Worm. Normally Game of Thrones would probably take out him and Missandri, but I don't think they'll probably take out both of them. So if it got to be one or the other, I think it's him. Remember, all men must die. But like they, her and Daenerys said, yeah, but we're not men. And although he's had a beautiful love affair with her, like we all know now, they don't allow you to live in a, a happy ending in Game of Thrones. And then they made the mistake of booking their vacation at the uh, beaches of North before the fight. So chances are they're never going to get a chance to see that. And that was all just to be made to have a tear jerk moment with all of us that we're going to be sad that he never got to take her there. And so um, as a result, he's going to be a loyal warrior and he's going to fight and he's going to probably try to protect her or the queen or be on the front lines and Gray Worm, he, he ain't gonna make it. And little Worm gonna be floating in the tequila and it's all over. It's said and done. So, um, I hate to say it, but adios, brother. Next up is Jamie Lannister. Jamie is easily gone from one of the most hated characters on the show to probably one of the most loved and, you know, sympathetic characters on the show. Um, probably the turn happened when his hand was cut off. Then he became more understanding of what it's like to be somebody to not have everything handed to them in life, pun intended. Meanwhile, he was granted permission to fight for the living at Winterfell even though it was a close call and Brienne had to stand up for him uh, for against Sansa and, uh, you know, uh, Daenerys. And so 
with that being said he came to Brienne and said I'm not the fighter I used to be but I'd be honored to serve under your command if you have me then either he'll die trying to protect Brienne or she'll die trying to protect him or they'll die side by side but they'll both be on the front line and Jamie can't fight as good as he used to he could barely beat those uh those soldiers in Dorne and uh it was luckily his hand caught that sword or else he would have been dead then if Braun didn't save his ass and so uh the chances of Jamie living is starting to get slimmer and slimmer they're not going to let him and Tyrion uh both live and go to King's Landing and so another thing that I think sealed the deal for him is that he tried to be a good man again and he knighted Brienne and remember another thing about Jamie is that when he was with Joffrey and they were going through the book of the good deeds by all the uh, King's Guard, Joffrey was making fun of him because he didn't have anything filled in in the book. And so maybe Jamie may finally go out with a great deed that they could write in the history books about how he redeemed himself fighting for the living and laid down his life for that. And uh, he, he does feel bad that he was in love with Cersei now that he finally understands what type of person she was and yeah that was his biggest flaw being there in love with her but he he did have honor and that's what Brienne spoke of so we'll see how he does next up is little mama aka Liliana Mormont now we know they wanted her to go underground and be in the crypts and she like i'm not going to hide under there i'm going to fight and we know that yeah she's got a heart of gold and probably stronger than and heart of anybody but the chances of her beating white walkers are slim to none next up podrick aka magic stick now <clears throat> podrick has became a good fighter after learning from brianne so the chances of him dying because he doesn't know how to fight is probably slim but he'll probably be with Brienne on the front line as well and he and Tyrion now Tyrion serving him wine after Tyrion you he used to serve Tyrion and so the chances of him dying sealed the deal when he was swinging that singing that sweet song not only did he have the magic stick but he sang like a R&B singer and uh that probably sealed the deal for Podrick that uh, he won't make it through the end of this long night in this fight. Next up is Theon Greyjoy. Now, Theon has gone from being a jerk to another sympathetic figure. And, uh, I mean, all men can relate after you get your, your nuts cut off. I mean, that's pretty, pretty bad as it can get. And uh, the one thing that he did do is he could have been there with his sister back at the Iron Islands but he was tired of being a coward and remember when he spoke with John about knowing what the right thing to do is and so he wants to come and be a Stark as well as a Greyjoy and so he came to protect Sansa I mean he was with her and they did both get molested and beat by Ramsay together and so he probably they probably got a great bond and if he had some you know nards and a wee wee he probably would end up being with her but i guess they could still bump tacos who knows but in the end i think that he wants to redeem himself and another thing that shows is when bran was talking about the white walkers and the mark and he wanted to be a decoy for them to come out he was the one that volunteered to be there to protect bran and he said hey i took the castle from you let me be the one to protect you and Bran said okay and he understood that hey Theon he does have some uh he wants to redeem him and when Bran was young Theon is the one that saved him from those wildlings in the forest so Theon used to be good it's just that he got confused when he went with his father and uh, to offer that uh settlement with uh Rob and the father twisted him all up and the way that him and Sansa were locking eyes and sadness I think she knows that Theon will be gone. And we saw him fighting with the flaming arrows. So the chances are he's going to be in some serious combat. Next up is Tormund Giants Bane. One of my favorite characters. Funny, interesting, 
He's always been uh, a hard charger, ready to fight on the front lines. And uh, he, he's been good friends with Jon Snow. They helped to build the Wildlings' trust with the Night's Watch. He's pretty much the de facto leader of the Wildlings of what's left. And uh, one thing that he's been working on for a long time is trying to climb up in that big woman. And he, even when he got there and they were talking about how the White Walkers were on their way and he was telling John, we probably have until, you know, the next morning. By the way, is the big woman still here? Because, uh, you know, he knows one last thing he could probably have and joy is getting some of that big woman. He love him some Brienne. But the chances are, even when they were at that meeting, he said, we all going to die. But at least we die together. And when he came in the meeting when he was uh, drinking, he said, she said, I'm glad you made it. He said, oh, thanks. And she said, I mean, you know, you know, I'm glad you didn't die yet. And she was <laughs> she she tried to clean it up some. But uh, he's a slob. He ghetto. He hood. And uh, even when he was drinking, he gobbled it all up and slurped it all down all over itself. But he did uh, before he gobbled it down try to measure his little johnson against jamie's you kingslayer okay well i'm giant's bane i killed the giant when i was 10 and then i jumped in the bed with his wife and she suckled me at her teeth for three months <laughs> he is so funny man he's one of the best characters on the show um it's gonna be sad to see him go he almost died in battle of the bastards that one dude was whooping him pretty good until he just decided to eat him like one of the night uh walking dead but uh anyway torment chances of survival is getting pretty low now that he's gonna be one of the front line fighters with the wild links and uh it was fun while it lasted but I doubt uh, Big T is going to last much longer. And uh, I hope that at least Brianne give him a kiss before it's all said and done. I mean, he is the one that came up with the idea that she should be knighted. And he is also the one that uh, was the first one clapping and standing up when she was knighted by Jamie. He was so proud of her. You know, he really respects her as a big woman and she could kick ass. And that's something that he would admire and love to, you know, have by his side more than anybody. Next up, everyone in the crypts. When they were saying go and hide in the crypts, I think that's a death trap because if the outside is lost, how can they get out of there? How can they escape? Um, they would have to try to escape before they lose on the outside because if they don't start to try to escape before it's too before it's too late, they're going to be stuck in there and they'll be killed. They won't be able to escape. The only way is if they ended up living as if the white walkers after they killed everyone just kept it moving and didn't even go down there didn't even think about them didn't know and uh i mean that would be one heck of a lucky move right there if that happens but uh in the end it's gonna be one hell of a battle and uh it's gonna be bittersweet just like they said what do you guys think you tell me is it somebody I missed? Remember, this is only who I think is going to die in the next episode, episode three. Now, I think others will die, but they got to spread it out. So we after episode three is three more episodes. And then it's all she wrote for the whole show until the new spinoffs come. They got a prequel in the works as well as other things. So um, the Game of Thrones saga will not be over. I mean, it's built up such a fan base and there's been such a success that Hollywood doesn't leave a success this big on the cutting room floor. So don't be too sad, but these characters will be done. So I'm looking to see your comments. I wonder what you guys think. And in the end, I'll catch you on the next video Sunday night after episode three and uh we'll talk all about it peace and i'll catch you next time i want to thank everybody for supporting my work at patreon and uh if you enjoyed the video please subscribe hit that like and i'm out of here